What you got for me, coach? Uphill lie onto a down slope, so it's a floppy one. Floppy my shot with Coach Lockie. Let's get stuck in. Right, coach, so we're coming, you're on a big uphill slope, which is going to help you with height, I guess. Yeah. Hitting onto a down slope onto the green. Yeah. So uh, I need, these greens are fast. I need a high, soft landing, not a lot of roll um, Chip type shot. of shot. Yeah, and I'm going to play it with a lofted club, even though that the slope's helping me already. Um, I've got my lob wedge. Okay. Um, way I'm sort of playing and feeling things, um, what I try and think of is, um, imagine like we're on a driving range and you're on a launch monitor. This is zero. Yeah. Um, I want my club to be coming in nice and shallow. Okay. Um, but zero on this slope is like this. Okay. So I'm going to be trying to get a zero with in line with the slope. So you're realigning your zero in yeah. effect. I mean, lots. I that's a great point because so many pros do that and they wouldn't even articulate it because yeah. it's so natural to do that. Mm -hmm. I think for a good player because they're always thinking even if they're not articulating that way about delivering, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, okay. lots of amateurs would be doing their standard sort of chip shot, weight forward, yeah. leaning the shaft forward, and then sort of stabbing into it. Yeah, because um, if that's a 10 degree upright slope, yeah. for instance, they're now 10 down in effect, because they've not realigned their zero. Yeah, and you look at that divot, my yeah. leading edge has just gone straight into yeah, that. You that's a duff that weight now. Slightly house. wrong, duff, yeah. thin, whatever you want. Um, okay, so, so I'm gonna be trying to align myself with the slope, okay. really getting my club moving up and nice and shallow using the bounce again i yeah. always try and use the bounce of the club okay um i've got a lot of loft on this already and the slope's kind of helping me so i'm not going to add loft onto the club i'm Good. just going to use what i've got yeah um really allow my club to pass my handle um feeling like i'm moving through the ball weight on the left foot as well so i'm not you would do that on a zero lie as well, yeah, weight yeah. on the left? Yeah, weight on the left. Just to help strike and get my sternum over that golf ball again. Okay. Um, let's have a go. Let's see. Sloping slightly right, uh, left to right as well. So, so you're I'm... reading the green into the shot as well? Yeah, because I want to hold things. Yeah, right? you do. I just look at the flag. Just... That's why I don't hit it close. Yeah, you it? hit it there and finish over there. Yeah. <laughs> let's see it. <laughs> High, soft, floaty one. Yeah, look at the height on that. Oh, I didn't quite get it far enough left, but... Still a good shot. Perfect weight. Yeah, take that. Yeah. Well done, Matthew. So it's, I mean, the biggest point for me is uh, trying to get used to adjusting to the slope, isn't it? Yeah, like, and I would be practicing stuff like this. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you're on the chipping green, just don't go to your flat lie, put yeah. 10 balls there and just practice the same thing over and over. Get on the funky lines. Yeah, just like, funk it up. Yeah, there. funk the lot of you. Yeah. Post comments <laughs> down below and subscribe if you don't already. Thanks, coach. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more videos. Find me on Instagram at CrossfieldMark. Also on Twitter at 4GolfOnline. Find me on Facebook, Mark Crossfield. Thanks for watching. Post comments as always and see you soon.